Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Last time we left off, we were here in Psy and we started Casty's Chapter 2. And we're going to be continuing with that today. And I actually have a good amount of time today, so we should be able to get a lot done. Um, so first things first, how about I go grab Agnea and we get a bunch of free shit from all the characters in town, huh? Alright, so, uh, I got a pretty good amount of stuff. Um, it started at the bottle of befuddling dust down here. And this is everything that we got. So, quite a few dupes on a lot of things, but that's good selling fodder, so I'm down with that. Uh, alrighty. So, that's that. So we can put Agnea away. Um, should I maybe grab somebody else? I think I'll hold off on doing much with anyone else, uh, at the moment. I don't really think we need to... Well, we'll wait for Hikari's next uh, next chapter to actually challenge with him. So let's just replace Agnea and we'll be good there. So now we can go finish up Casty's uh, chapter, I think. I just wanted to go ahead and take care of that. So let's get going. How are you doing? Apparently I didn't get everything from you. Oh, God. 40,000? I mean, you seem wildly strong, but my god. Sandflow Pass. Alright, here we are. <laughs> I heard they were injured. Where are they? <laughs> None here. Not on our side, anyway. Was there some mistake? A messenger came speaking of wounded. Yeah, they're wounded. Enemies. I plan to really show them what for today, so we set up a little ambush. When <laughs> what do you know? Huge patch of quicksand appears right as they were marching over. <laughs> the fools all got swallowed up by the sands. Gulp. <laughs> Serves them right. I've actually heard quicksand is not as dangerous as media led people to believe, because I remember being scared of quicksand when I was young, but apparently it's really not all that dangerous. You only sink to like a certain amount and it's relatively easy to get out, but I imagine it's a lot harder if you're in like full armor and there's a bunch of other people sinking with you, maybe. I could get used to this. Victory without even drawing my sword. <laughs> Whoa there! Leaving so soon? Of course. Those people are in need of my aid, and so to their aid I go. <sighs> you think I'll just stand here and let you help our enemies? Okay, Edmund, I'm ready to kick your ass. I was about to say, is that where this is going? We're going to, uh... We're going to help them. Any of you have anything interesting? No? Feel bad for them, but it wasn't our fault that happened. It was all up to luck. We won without even lifting a finger! <laughs> Stop or else you'll end up in quicksand with them. Your enemies is good news for us. Don't do anything to ruin our odds, you hear? And... What about you? Oh, there's a way forward. Just keep your head up and you'll find it. Okay, so this is a different area. Do you have anything interesting for me? Healing grapes? Eh. Fool. Alright, so what's she hiding in here? <laughs> Let's play. Oh, we what got into a battle. Yeah, it, I suppose that makes sense, actually. Um, so we do have access to spears now. Uh, Desert Ape. Get wrecked. Um, we do have staff. Uh, actually, you just arrow a fortune. I just want the JP. That's all I care about. <clears throat> so go ahead and beat that up, and then... God, you really need access to some wind magic. That's always the main thing I can't do any anything about. Yeah, that was funny, running into a battle here, because it, I, in my brain I was like, this isn't a battle area, there's just characters sitting around. But no, of course it's a battle area. Bone mail? How good is that? Bone mail? 
So lower evasion, lower elemental defense, but gives you more physical defense and ups your critical. Uh, hmm. I mean, it's a trade. I do like that it ups your crit. Yeah, you go ahead and take that. And we can give you the other Dojo Hakama. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Here we go. The bone mail will be good on, uh... On Throne. Steel Lance and a Quartz Blade. Um... Steel Lance? No, you have the... Yeah, you have the... Master Harpoon. So Steel Lance isn't super good for you. What was the other thing I got? A sword. Okay. <clears throat> Big accuracy loss, but boosted elemental attack. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like the accuracy loss. I mean, I guess I haven't missed yet, so... Whatever, take it. Oh, you also have a makeshift spear. We're gonna need to do away with that. You can have the slashing glaive. All right, there you go. Yeah, I mean, we haven't really missed yet. Like, missing is a big problem in Bravely Default, but I haven't actually ran into it too much here. I feel like missing's mostly a big problem when uh, it's a game that you where you hit multiple times, because you want to hit as many possible times as you can. Like in Bravely Default, you know, you want to make sure you hit like all 8 or 16 times, so having low accuracy sucks. But it seems like here we don't hit multiple times. Let's have ourselves a showdown. Alright. <clears throat> what? Uh, dagger for you. Uh, and we're just gonna arrow a fortune you. 6 JT. Um, you just ask the scorpion a question. And then you are just going to release an ice wind. I do like that I went with Oswald as my main character, because it is nice just always having a strong mage in the party. Especially since I really like mages, so there's that too. Alright, are you gonna ambush me, you asshat? Hello? Is anyone there? Please shout if you can hear me. <sighs> Over there. Found you. You move fast, girl. Shh. Quiet. That way. Hey! She told you to shut your ass up. <laughs> Please help me. I, I, I can't move. Don't move. I'm coming. It'll be all right. Hurry! Before it gets back. I was wondering, is it going to be an antlion? Usually when I hear about quicksand or a boss that's going to be in the desert, I usually think of an antlion, so... Stop thrashing. Strange. Everyone here seems terrified. Were they attacked? This isn't good. At this rate, they'll freeze. You there. Yes, you. Bring me kindling. Anything that can make a fire. Water, too, while you're at it. Don't spout nonsense. I'm not helping them. They're enemies. I ain't giving them a drop of it. Stop blustering and fetch, now. Ooh, Cassie's like, get your ass over there and do this. Huh? Damn your eyes. Fine. Kindling in water, right? Yeah, that's the chief coming out. Just ordering your ass around, that's good. Thank you. These people owe their lives to you. I was like them once. It was a soldier for the other side, living fat off my daily wages. One day a bunch of outsiders tried to move into our kingdom. Lots of kids. Well, we went in and sent them packing. King's orders. Didn't think much of it at first, just followed orders. 
but eventually I started thinking. Is what I got worth bullying innocence? Do I want to protect my coin that bad? Wow, you're having a you're having a turnaround pretty quick here. Long story short, I got real pissed off about it all. So I switched sides. Hmm. You know what, Bone Mender? You're all right. It takes a lot of guts to stick your neck into someone else's fight just to help folk. Watching you work, well, makes me feel like an idiot for fighting in the first place. It is a waste of human life. I'm a simple healer, nothing more. <sighs> I'm... I'm alive? That you are. The others, too. My name's Griff. I command these soldiers. We were marching to battle when a terrible monster attacked. The ground turned to quicksand, and we were pulled under. An antlion, a JRPG classic. Also, if you had an IT and H in your name, I would be very suspect of you. A monster? That sounds like a sand lion. A sand lion? What's that? First time I've ever heard it called that. A beast that lives in the sands around here. Usually pretty docile. All oh, the fighting must have set the thing off. Once one of them goes berserk, nothing to do but run for the hills until it calms. But many of my soldiers are still back at our encampment. They're in peril. I must warn them. Hold on now. You're too injured. I'll go. As will I. Commander Griff, you're still too hurt to walk. Rest. Recover your strength. Thank you. Come on, Bone Mender. Time to go to someone else's aid. Alrighty. And out we go. Make for the camp. What do we got up here? A treasure? Gimme. Strengthening serum. Nice. I should try uh, doing some more concoctions with Casty. I, I haven't really had a need to for most of the fights we've been doing because I am just too high level for them basically, but it's still a good idea to learn what some of the more busted ones are, so I do need to experiment with them a little bit more. 4 JP. I should have attacked one of the other ones, because um, I, I think I understand what the person meant when they mentioned it was based off of HP, because uh, it seems like when I attack full health targets I just always get more, so... So it goes. You gotta keep that in mind. I'm glad this group's getting the opportunity to, uh, to get some, uh, more XP. Damn. Were we too late? There's no one here. I can only pray they weren't caught when the ground gave way. Help me. Hold on, I'm coming! Yeah, Edmund had a quick turnaround. Uh-oh. Watch out! Huh? <laughs> that animation of you just spinning, man, that's a very classic JRPG animation. Go to Edmund. Oh, we're not just hopping in the hole? Yeah, I mean, I guess that wouldn't super work out, would it? Well, I'm sorry, Edmund, I know your life is in, is in peril and all of that, but there's treasure up here. So I'm gonna go focus on this first and foremost. A dual flower. See, that was very worth it, Edmund. Alright. So yeah, see, let's look what it, let's see what the, how much it, I get for using it now. 
Let's see, we get seven that time. Of course, this thing doesn't have as much HP as a lot of the other things, I believe, that we've been running into. Um, dagger. There you go. And I can just hit you both with a fireball. God, Oswald's so strong. I love this dork. There's a level up for Casty. Dun, 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 dun. And out we go. Alright, so if we head over here and let's hit this up. We can just save over let's let's save right here just to be safe. I don't remember exactly which slot I saved in. You always want to keep your, your cycled saves good. The Sand Lion's Den. So the Sand Lion is gonna be our boss. Here I was thinking it was Edmund, because they were setting you up as the asshole. But uh No? Not actually the problem here. Can help but notice this over here. There's also a treasure below me I don't know how to get to. Hey! A customer! A customer? Do you have a good chance to steal anything? No. Just, uh, you just defend Throne, because I want you to be able to steal next round. To see if we can get anything good from these idiots. 6 JP. Uh, bang bang. They are weak to that. Toxic Breath. Annoying. Hit him with a Luminescence. There we go. Alright, now Throne can steal. 92%. Herb of Light. I'll take that. Holy light. Didn't actually kill you. Huh. There you go. Okay, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more dangerous there. I've been just kind of plowing my way through a lot of these enemies, but... Uh, cast Deacon, Healing Touch. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Beautiful. So our boss fight looks like it's probably going to be right down there. But we do have a few more things to grab here. Like Zeus. Healing Great Bunch. Gotta remember to use those in a fight if things ever get a little bit too hairy. More of these jerks. They were pretty annoying. Arrow of Fortune! Arrow of Fortune. Who just likes spamming that just to get the just to get the free stuff? So nice. Even though it's not a, a ton, mind you. It's not like it's anything too crazy, but it's still nice. Um, how hurt is this thing? Pretty hurt. Cleansing leaf. I'll take it, and we even get a free attack out of it. Um, I'll just let somebody else finish it. To divvy up the bum, 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 bum. I need to get that other Octo Puff pot off of uh, off of uh, Ochet and just put it on this on, on this team because Ochet already has the rare monster thing and Oswald has an Octo Puff pot, so this team needs another one to help him out a bit. Ooh, Oswald has enough for um. I mean, I do want Alephant's Wisdom, though. But what is this? Equipping character will recover 25% of their max HP once per battle upon being incapacitated. Okay. It's not horrible. Not that crazy about it, though. I think I want to save up for Scholar instead. How do I get over there? Oh, down this way. I was thinking there was some hidden path over that way, but no. Poisoned hatchet. Ooh. It's not gonna be better than the frontier axe. Slim chance to poison. Yeah, that might be good for one of my other characters that use axes because we do have a fair few that use axes at this point. So that's fine. So we went up there. We've been down there. I do believe. Let's have ourselves a show. Oh hey, it's a worm. Ready. Big worm. Poke. No stuff. And I'm actually gonna use luminescence on you. There we go. And you're gonna do exactly what you'd think you would do. Six JP. 
Yeah, Arrow of Fortune's not that crazy compared to, like, the Octopus, for example. Like, I'm still gonna spam it every fight because it's a little bit extra on top, but it's really not that crazy. Not as crazy as I thought it was. Are you alright? Somehow. This guy is too. You're barely scratched. That's a relief. Yeah. The sand lions back there. We need to pull these people out quickly. At this rate, they'll be buried alive. Are you well enough to help, Master Edmund? I'd like you to pull these people out and get them to safety. Hold on. What are you planning, Bone Mender? I'm going to have a word with that sand lion. Yeah, a word meaning an axe in its skull. Do you have a death wish? Let me call for backup first. There's no time. If it thrashes about again, every last person here will call these sands their grave. But you'll... Here's a fun fact, Master Edmund. Apothecaries are trained in combat medicine. I can handle myself. Don't worry about me. You've got some guts, Bone Mender. Leave these people to me. Just... Don't die. I also have the backup of three other people that are usually never mentioned in these particular cutscenes. Thank you. Take care of them, Master Edmund. Alright. And there there was another treasure over here that I was... It was bothering me that I wanted to grab. Um, I should also heal up Particio's, uh... Yeah, we have so many Inspiriting Plums. There you go, Particio. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Diffusing Serum. Fantastic. Okay, so... I did want to remind myself what, it, what that one skill that, uh, you have. Drastic Measures. Powerful Axe Attack on a single foe and nullify their status ailments and enfeebling effects. The more you nullify, the more potent the attack. Okay. I don't have very many enfeebling effects to inflict on it, but maybe there's some cool ones I can do with, um... Because I want to give that attack a shot. We'll see. Probably some things I can do with your, uh, concoctions. Hello, Sand Lion. I'm sorry I have to do this, but I can't let you run amok any longer. Time for you to take a nap. I'll send you back to your nest. What to do? All right, here we go. Um, I do need to make sure I steal from you, because we will be getting some good stuff. So, what do I want to do? Um, aggressive slash, piercing thrust, innervating ability to counter physical damage with sword attack two times. The counter attack reduces. Maybe we'll use Eventual Blade here. I didn't want to try that. Alright, so... Harpoon Foe... Rest Collect. Collect money from a foe. I do need to do that. At some point. Pay money to hire summoned help to the field. Uh, let's boost the intensity of Oswald's attacks. I need a play. Alright, Oswald. Let's go ahead and analyze. Let me look at you. Axes. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Great Sandstorm. Eye for an eye. Okay, so that counted as physical damage. Alright. Um, I should... Uh, Peacock Strut for you. There we go. Uh, Particio. You do have, uh, four stabs here to use. You could... Collect. Let's just go ahead and get the money. Much appreciated. One thousand. That's it. Damn it. I was hoping it would be more. You still have your thing, though. Oh, you stole Oswald from me. Maybe if I break you, you get Oswald back here. What was your latent power? Act twice. Your skills steal. Just the physical defense of a target. Let's do that. Let's reduce your physical defense. 
There you go. And... Casty, go ahead and do a hit. And then... Reticio, I'm going to have you use your latent power. And I'm going to have you hit this thing three times. My turn. Okay. Any other debuffs we can inflict on you? Dark base damage. Sooner your turn comes, swift step, raise your speed. Reduce the physical attack. Yeah, let's shackle you. Wait. There we go. Here I go. Now, let's okay. use this and use drastic measures. Get rid of those two negative effects. Let's see how much this does. Oh, that was 9,999. And that was only two. You were only inflicted with two status effects and that did max damage. Oh my God. Okay. Um, well then, let's go ahead and use your latent power as well. Oh my God, the thing's almost dead. The thing is dead. Oh wait, holy shit, I didn't even steal with throw day. I mean, I probably wasn't gonna get anything too great from it, right? Holy shit, Casty. I mean, Oswald did more damage because his attack hit twice, but I didn't expect it to do that much, but it was four charges of BP. Holy shit, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Later, nerd. I hope it's learned its lesson. I probably you like decapitated the thing. The shaking stopped, and the sand seemed to have stabilized. We should be able to focus on rescuing those still trapped. Which only leaves the little problem of war to deal with. Okay, well that happened. So Throne was able to inflict some status debuffs on it, which then made me Edmund. able to do all that damage. That's nice. I never thought I'd see the day you'd save my life. The only problem with that attack is if it can already hit 9,999, that attack is not going to scale well into the late game because it can't hit multiple times. And if it's already hitting near max, like, like max, like that, then it's not going to scale as well as I would like. Of course, I did use 4 BP on it. Maybe if I would have used less BP, I could have got a little bit more bang from my buck there. Like, maybe I could have done a pretty good amount of damage without using 4 BP. Um, I'm not really sure. We'll have to do some more testing with that particular attack. But yeah, that was max damage. I had thought of outsiders only as threats. Locusts that devoured our food. Contributing nothing. But it appears that I was badly mistaken. <laughs> I swear to you that when I return, I'll make a proposal to the king himself. I'll beg him to let us lay down our arms and welcome your people as our own. Seems I owe you an apology, and my thanks. <laughs> if it wasn't for a certain nosy do-gooder's nonsense, I would have never opened my eyes. It's better to join hands as friends than raise arms as foes. I couldn't have said it better myself. There we go. Yeah. Ending war. I owe my life to your mercy and your valor. I won't soon forget it. You are one of heirs apothecaries? Yes. I heard they were a gang of scoundrels who murdered the sick under their care. It seems those rumors were greatly exaggerated. You saved the lives of me and my soldiers. On behalf of all of us here, I thank you. I only did what was right. I hear that you've misplaced your memories. Yes, but... 
A rumor reached my ears not long ago that may interest you. What sort of rumor? It concerned Heirs Apothecaries. Heirs Apothecaries. In other words, the association I was a part of. Gonna find out more info about him? If I speak with him, it may jog loose some memories. Let's do it. Inquire about what Griff knows. It sounds like a good call to me. One village heirs apothecaries visited saw its residents collapse and die in rapid succession. Those who fled the village and survived reported seeing purple rain pouring out of a strange cloud above the village. Purple rain. Were you making bioweapons? Where am I? An empty village. Wait. Rain. Purple rain? what you're doing? Of course, Chief. I'm following our precepts to their logical end. Extending a helping hand to all in need. Isn't that right? I recognize your voice. Can't quite place it, though. But, uh, I always love a good, um... A good, that, that mask. I... <laughs> Oh my god, why am I forgetting the word for it right now? But the, like, apothecary mask right there. With, like, the, the crow's beak kind of thing. I always like that look. It's very cool. I don't know why my brain is flubbing. Maybe it's because it's 2.15 a.m. <laughs> this rain brings salvation! I want to say I've heard your voice actor in the Nier games? That's what I recognize it from? From the look on your face, it seems you've remembered something. If you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave now. Goodbye, Apothecary. Goodbye, Griff. Was that horrendous rain? And who was that robed figure? I can't remember. <sighs> Something terrible happened in that place. I'm sure of it. That's the that's the word I was thinking of for those specific mass plague doctors. Some awful tragedy. And I need to remember. Yeah, it seems like some really messed up stuff happened, but at least it seemed like you were against it, and it was, like, maybe an outlier in your group? In a town of immigrants, Casty meets someone with knowledge of her past. Dark rumors swirl about Heir's apothecaries, and Casty is haunted by disturbing images dredged up from deep within her. What lurks in the mists of her past? Cassie must continue her journey to find out. Cassie the Apothecary, Chapter 2, Psy Route. There we go. Dunzo. Alrighty, so now we got more stuff we can work on. The Apothecary and Hunter Part 1 is available. Okay, we can probably go do that cross path really quickly. Like I said, I got time today, so... I'm looking to make up for uh, the fact that a few of the episodes have been short recently because uh, there's just been so much going on. Stealthy knife. I still don't think I want any of these things. We're going to save our money. 
we're gonna save our cash money for now. So, you specifically wanted like, what is your, what is your, yeah. As a merchant, bring it to me. Bring it to you. So it's probably your daughter. I just need to bring your daughter over here, right? It was you, right? Father taught me that we should treasure ourselves. Yes, you. Treasure ourselves, but I can't. Cannot be used if you lack insufficient funds. You cannot purchase. Oh wait, no. I gotta do this. There we go. Charming smile, three percent off purchases. That sucks, but I really would rather twenty-five percent more from sales. But let's work up a nice sweat. All right, I'll follow you. All right, Masood's daughter. I'm pretty sure you're what I need to bring to Masood. Okay, I'm gonna need to find a new person to hire with Particio after this, because you're not exactly great. As promised, I brought you your treasure, Masood. You did, did you? Show me. Your greatest treasure is her, your daughter. Maybe this was wrong? I mean, you said your father said the greatest treasure was yourselves, but it said bring me my greatest treasure, so I was like, I don't know who else to bring besides the daughter. Incorrect. Try again. What? It is true that many value their family above any jewel or gem. Not this guy, though. So maybe I needed to do this. I needed to fail, basically. But that is not the answer that I am seeking for this particular test. Better luck next time. <sighs> the daughter's like, ugh. Nation, I was sure I had it. What is this test that father gave you? Huh? Uh, oh, uh... Ah. What father meant wasn't his treasure in particular, but what a merchant treasures most. Did we really need that flashback? <laughs> Nothing was even said, it just flashed back to you two standing there and then back. The thing you treasure most as a merchant isn't leaves or sundries, right? A merchant's treasure? <laughs> That's all the hints you'll get from me. Good luck. What do I treasure as a merchant? Like she said, not leaves or sundries, that's for sure. The smile on a happy customer's face? The scent of commerce? I don't know. That's it. My greatest treasure is me. In which case, Masood must feel the same way, too. Okay, yeah, see, now that's what I was- that's- that's straight up what the daughter said, so I was like, shouldn't I just say that as my answer? But I had to lead the daughter over there first to come to this conclusion. It's worth a shot, anyhow. Because it wouldn't let me just be like, hey, your greatest treasure is you. Because the daughter just straight up said that. Father always told me our greatest treasure is yourself. <laughs> but unfortunately, I couldn't just say that. Okay, interesting. I had to specifically bring you someone. Hire this person? Don't want to hire you. One treasure, bring it to me and you can read it. Yourself. I gotta bring you yourself, which means I gotta hire you. 20% off purchases is nice. You wanna hire me? What is the meaning of this insult, Mr. Nobody? Okay, so ma maybe I could have done this earlier if I just tried to hire you instead of your daughter. The daughter's just a hint if you didn't get the other one, basically. So maybe I could have done this without talking to the daughter. I've figured out your treasure, fella. It's you. Yourself. Hmm. You asked me to find the treasure you value most as a merchant. I figure every merchant's got one treasure they set store by above all else. 
connections they've built, book learning and experience. All these things are far more valuable than any material object, leaves included. Or am I wrong? Hmm. Correct. I'm surprised you got it. Well, I mean, your daughter straight up told me. <laughs> of course I did. My greatest treasure's the same as yours, after all. Besides, your daughter gave me a friendly push in the right direction. If I couldn't find the answer after all that, I'd have no right to call myself a merchant. I am honestly astonished that there are still merchants in this world who know how to see to the heart of matters. There have been dozens like you who have come here seeking my mercantile manuscript. Every one of them failed this test and went home empty-handed. I started to think the world had gone dull since I retired. Here, take it. What's this? The key to the archive in which I placed my mercantile manuscript. Read to your heart's content. Yippee! Y you sure it's all right? I've grown old. I don't have much time left. When I pass, so too will my greatest treasure, correct? So I might as well pass on a part of that treasure to you, Particio the Merchant. The sum treasure of those who came before you. You got it, fella. Thank you. There we go. That's the sense of commerce done. The mercantile manuscript archive key. You can now peruse the mercantile manuscript in the archive. The records are full of information documented by Masood. You never know what knowledge you may glean about items, equipment, and more. Interesting. Again, at this hour, you're very passionate about your merchant studies. Yes, I am. Panacea. I kind of feel like I want to hire you. Um, could I steal anything useful from you? Antique coin. Looks so insolent to stage. Don't you have any shame? And my reputation inside has suffered. Hey, I'm back and everything's fine now. And you're going to give me that antique coin. And you're going to give me that antique coin. And you're going to give me that antique coin. Thank you. God. All right. Well, there we go. Um, I didn't need to inquire. Once a famed merchant who traversed both continents, at the time, both land and sea routes were yet underdeveloped, so it was no small feat to visit all eight regions. His effort earned him the repute of a great merchant, but he lost much in the process. Thank you. Like, it seems like he, you know, didn't really care for his family much. Oh my god. History of Hinouma. Southwest Celestia, where the desert sand stretches far as the eye can see, and yet... Hidden among the barren dunes is an oasis, a strip of semi-arid terrain running north and south along the riverlands. Here the soil is fertile, and barley and corn can be grown in relative abundance. Countless wars have been waged over the water and resources of this region, and not a few kingdoms have risen and fallen in this place over the centuries. It is also here that legends of priestess Hinoe Kagura, the conjurer goddess, have survived and been passed down. It is these tales that lend this land its name, Hinouma. In the eye of the desert sits Sai, a fortress city once known as the Orochi Bastion. Once held by the forces of Yu, it was taken by Ku two decades ago. Northwest of this can be found Ryu, a well-known traveler stop where information from across the world eventually settles. One might be surprised that so many blisteringly short names like Ku and Yu are common to the desert regions. Locals say the propensity for brevity is because the longer the mouth flaps, the more sand finds its way in. But the truth of the matter is unknown. I feel like the two different things being called Ku and Yu would make for it very, very easy to get them confused in conversation. Like, if you just hear someone say Ku or Yu, you might be like, wait, which one did you say? Did you say Ku or did you say Yu? Northwest Celestia is a barren wasteland, a blasted expanse of volcanic rock that resists even the loneliest blade of grass. The brave souls who eke out their existence here have long suffered the sulfuric whims of Fiasro and its unstable neighbors. 
And yet, life always finds a way. Among the rock and stone dwell the Golt, an unusually large breed of goat who subsist on a meager fare of local weed. Unlike other goats, they exceed bovines in their capacity for producing milk, grow fleece more suitable for cloth than sheep, and even produce extraordinary flavorful meat as well. In all matters of livestock, they outstrip the competition and so have become known as the Jewels of the Wastelands. The cheese produced from their milk is especially scrumptious and has become a local specialty. As a side note, the volcanic soil conceals a wealth of valuable minerals. Many small mining towns have sprung up here, including the southern town of Orzrush, established by silver merchants Pap and Rock. This is cool, just getting all of this free lore. So here are the Leaflands. Western Celestia is home to the small lakeside kingdom of Timberane. Surrounded by great sweeps of verdant forest, this land is rich in natural resources. Thick woodland loam provides fertile ground for agriculture, and the seemingly inexhaustible supply of trees fuels industries such as lumber and paper manufacturing. The small village of Cropdale is famous for its raspberries and peaches, and its fruit pies are widely known to be especially scrumptious. That being said, this rural settlement has an abundance of peach-centric cuisine. Peach jam, peach juice, peach salad, peach soup, sautéed peach, fried peach, peach pil uh, pilaf, steamed peach, to name just a few. Some might say Cropdale has an overabundance of peach dishes. That's simply because the locals just can't decide on the favorite. In the south of this area, one can find the town of Wellgrove. Though it has grown wealthy through a brisk trade with the resource-poor desert regions further south, the disparity in wealth has, this has created is the seed for ceaseless conflict and turmoil along the border. And reach for the next shelf. Okay, so we'll, we'll read bits of these at a time. I think like, you know, three an episode of these would maybe be good. Um, so what is this? History of grapes and plums? Oh god, we got a lot to read. Okay, so we're gonna be... We're gonna be doing... Uh, these. We're gonna be reading these. We'll do little history lessons each episode over here. Probably read three of them an episode, as I mentioned, so... We'll leave those for now, and I'll have to remember to come back here pretty regularly. So, cool. Another thing taken care of there. So what was, what was needed for this quest? What did you need? My father's sword. That sword is precious family heirloom. about the old face of my father without it. The dirty thief should be at the decaying temple in the eastern size sands, but I don't stand a chance against him. Probably knew as much, as is why he let me live. Oh, I didn't actually grab that. I didn't actually grab that. Um, interesting. I thought I had grabbed that quest, but apparently I did not. Um, so let's go to Hinouma. I can't believe that bastard stole my father's sword. It should be at the King Temple in the Eastern Sai Sands. The King Temple, Eastern Sai Sands, you say? This is Southern. So Eastern would be over there. Yeah, there's a decaying temple over here I apparently need to go hit up. Alright. Got a little bit of uh, XP as a reward here. Examine. This is where we get come alone. Oh, but we do. Yeah, th this is the one we gotta come alone for. Shit, I forgot about that part. Where did I go wrong? Shit. Game over. Resume from last save point. When was my last save point? Okay, it auto saved me as I was leaving town. Good. Um, I didn't rest, and it's a little bit hard to escape, actually. Um, from the fights that we get in here. So this is gonna be a little bit rough. Uh, it might be a little bit harder since I am just Oswald. That's gonna be a rough part. Alright, I managed to make it over here. I walked the whole way, I didn't run. Danger level 40. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that right now. But that's what the place is, right? The decaying temple. Okay, yeah, we're not doing that yet. It's recommended level is 40, and I have to go in there alone? Nah, not happening right now. Sorry to break it to you. Alright, so go ahead and get into the party. Um... Uh... Casti, Particio, and Throne. Huh. <sighs> Alright, so I need to find Particio a new person to hire. Ooh, right there. Puppy dog eyes earn 15 to 30% more from sales. Yes. Let's get that sounds good to me. Alright, cool. So now we've taken care of that. There was a new cross paths that showed up right here. 
Level 16? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's go see what uh, Castia and Ochet are going to be up to. Um, there's also probably some stuff I can do in town here. Um, but... Let's see. I remember, wasn't there some something good in here? That I could that I could grab. You. Oh, but I. Huh. Beastling's possessions can't really buy anything off of you. Beastling who was grievously wounded while traveling the continent solo. So yeah, I've already done everything with you. All right, just wanted to make sure. Okay. Um. I mean, you might be able to be hired, but I can't do that because you disappear. Then, hmm. I do, I do find myself wondering what you have. Let me grab like Hikari and um, like I don't know, Timonos or Agnia, and see if maybe like you have a good skill or something like that. I just feel the need to test. Because you are hidden in this place, so... You might have good stuff. Squall of Arrows. Raise the elemental defense of the target for one to three turns. And yeah, you have Squall of Arrows. I mean... I don't know who you currently have. Ancient Teachings? I like restoring BP to the target more. Yeah, nah, I'm good. Squall of Arrows seems like it'd be pretty good for you, but I don't know if you could beat the Beastling. Okay. Well, we can go drop them off. Yeah, I like my BP restoration. It's super busted. Alright, so let's change the party back out here. Throw an get back in here. Particio. Alright. Uh, but- oh wait, I need- I need Ochet in the party. That's right. For this thing. So... Get out Throw I guess. There we are. All right, so, and I gotta go in here to hear the tale. God, hear a tale. There we go, the apothecary and hunter. Castia and Ochet arrive in the lively little village of Cropdale. The beastling catches a whiff of something delicious, so the two follow her nose to a merchant stall. We can go ahead and take care of this this episode. Wow, a lot of people here. Getting three things done in one episode. It is a lively little village. And I gotta remember to do Casty's um, talks. They say it's famous for peaches and raspberry pie. Yep, this is the one we learned about in the book. Uh, fruit? Yeah, I'll stick with meat. A purely carnivorous diet isn't good for you. Everything in balance, all in moderation. You sound like my mother. <laughs> hey, something smells good. Welcome, travelers. Care to try Cropdale's new delicacy? Door door on a stick. Ah, door door. That's what it is. Okay, that's why you want it. Yes, meat, real meat. Uh, oh, Chet, manners. May we have one skewer, please? <laughs> I I kind of love Mother Casty. Like <laughs> this is amazing. Just our Chet being like running around like a crazy child, and Casty being like, Oh, Chet, manners. Can, can we have one skewer, please? <laughs> I love this interaction. This is great. Enjoy. Oh, I will. Thanks. You mustn't eat too, too much, oh chat. Ugh, this is gross. Uh, excuse me. This meat tastes weird. Sorry about that. Not much I can do when it gets that old. Takes a whole garden of herbs just to cover the smell. Ew. Why do you go to such lengths to make old meat edible? 
So wait, how, uh, why why was why was Ochet? I guess I guess it smelled good because of the herbs, but then when you taste it, yeah, that makes sense. Hunting's been bad lately. We can't get anything fresher. I've hunted these parts for years, but I've never seen it like this. Huh. Maybe we'll go take a look at the forest while we're here. Oh, you're a hunter too, Missy. That'd be a big help. The forest just past the village. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Leave it to me. You mustn't overextend yourself, Ochet. <sighs> yes, Ma. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Casty's a great mother. All right, make for the animal trail. Oh, so we're finally gonna go over to this place. Oh, hey. Have I seriously not done everything with you? Undeniable allure. A cheerful young playboy who will dally with anyone as long as there's fun to be had. The sincerity of his love of the game itself is crueler in its way than malice would be, and rivers of tears have been shed for his sake. Okay. Interesting. Undeniable allure. So nobody can uh, stop Agnia from alluring them. Beautiful. Alright, so let's continue over this way and see what we can get ourselves into. The animal trail. Yeah, I remember I came here so many times. And I was like, oops, there's nothing. Ooh, shish kebab fruit. Is that tasty? <laughs> I'll say. On Toto Haha, we used to wrestle the animals for them. But look how many there are here. <laughs> Wahoo! Doesn't that strike you as odd? Why would so many delicious fruits be left untouched? Uh... Now that you mention it, the forest feels a little too quiet. Overhunting? Or just like... Mahina's on edge too. The animals just left the area, possibly because like a new predator moved in? Are we actually gonna fight in one of these finally? Ah, something's headed this way. Hey, you must be one of the famous door door. It seems quite agitated. Easy now. What's got into you? This isn't working. The poor thing's not in its right mind. Sorry, Dorsey, but this is gonna hurt a bit. Battle of Wits. Okay, we are actually fighting in one of these for once. Interesting, a dire door door. Okay, cool. Um, pressure is your ability, precise shot. Uh, leg hold trap. Is it act at the end of the turn for the next two turns? Nullify your augmenting effects. Uh, what other options do you have? You just have these right now. Um, let's go ahead and reveal one of those. Okay, fire it is. Snort. Okay, that hurt a little bit. You can rally the troops. Merchant skill. Um. Well, let's go ahead and advance Magic Oswald. Because it's just too good. To not use. Reduce them to ash. Bang bang. And I was Ooh, I was thinking you were gonna be weak to that, but no. Uh huh. Well then. Could Ember you. Hired help. Collect. I think I'm gonna collect from you. Give me your money, please. 4,300, I will take. <clears throat> and... Let's see. Let's use... Let's see. I do have Scissor Crab. There we go. That broke you. Thinking time. Beautiful. Alright. Oswald, you can hit with... Um, In pursuit of knowledge. How about a Firestorm? Reduce them to ash. There you go. It's a thousand damage. I could have done that when I had BP, but... It's okay, it's getting close to dead. Um, 
Just smack it a few times. It's getting there. Can I capture you? Untamable. Damn it. Alright, well. Grant yourself positive status effects based on the type. There we go. Healed myself, and you got boosted damage. And fireball. There we go. I've gained valuable insight. Alright. That wasn't so bad. We got a little bit of XP out of it. And I got a nourishing nut. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't I don't think that was what it was saying. Wait, don't run away. There he goes. Guess he's got places to be. I mean of course he's injured. We just beat the shit out of him. Let's I mean, follow him. But you probably mean injured before. I'm guessing. Alright, let's continue. Follow the door door. Let's make sure we use our nourishing nut. Maximum HP increase. Um Honestly, I feel like Oswald needs this right now. Oswald's been uh lacking in the HP department here recently. It's so easy for him to get bopped. You are all holed up here? You don't have to be afraid. Easy now. Shh. They're absolutely terrified. But terrified of what? Be gone, humans. Harm not the door door. Is that what they're saying? I suppose they think we're here to hurt that one from earlier. Yeah, I mean, we did. <sighs> Let's go, Casty. We did hurt that one from earlier. I mean, it attacked us, but still. <laughs> let's, let's, not, let's not get it twisted. I did set the thing on fire. Hello. <clears throat> it's all right. Calm down. We don't want to hurt you anymore. Good, there we go. Any more. Come on. Don't be scared. Don't worry. Mama here's got a kind heart. Just, uh, don't make her angry. Oh, Chet. Sorry. <laughs> Love these two. I only want to tend your wounds. You don't want those to get infected. Let me help you. Please. Why is the thing smoking? Has it's it's like engine on like messed up or something, you know? This robotic animal yeah, clearly. That should do it. Good boy, Wooly Uli. Wooly Uli? Did you just say Wooly Uli? That's his name. Don't you like it? Wooly Uli? I'm not gonna lie, Casty's kinda growing on me as a character. One with the with the- with the- like, trying to convince Particio that they had massive amounts of sex, and then this? I'm kinda- Casty's really growing on me. Well, he likes it. Good for you, Uli Uli. Hmm? What's that? I'm sorry I attacked you. Let me explain what scared the forest creatures. It was a dark monster they'd never seen before. Hmm. I wonder what the monster was. It does raise questions. Yes, but, uh, more importantly... <sighs> perhaps we should eat before discussing it further. Thanks, Ma. 
Oh, <laughs> the relationship's adorable. How cute. And so ends the Apothecary and Hunter Part 1. Oh, well, I hope Wooly Uli stays okay. Alright, well, let's get back to Cropdale. And, uh, obviously I want to save, but before we do that, before I forget, we got a few of these things to look at. Enemy scent. Yay, more of these two! Careful, Casty. The scent of our foes is getting stronger. That sharp nose of yours is a lifesaver. Seems very agitated. Just getting close will send it into a frenzy. If it grabs us, it'll chomp us to pieces with its big fangs. Wow, you can determine all that just by smell. No, it peeked its head out earlier. That's how I knew. Not just your nose that's sharp, but your eyes too. Can you give me more details on what we're facing? What sort of beast is it? Um, I don't remember. Sand step? New dance? Casty, watch this! I've come up with a dance that lets you glide across the sand. If everyone can master it, we'll all be safe from the quicksand. I call it the sand step. Sounds like a lot of fun. How do you do it? It's hard to walk on sand, right? That's because people try to walk their own way, ignoring where the ground wants to go. So if you move in harmony with the shifting sands, then... Ack! Ah! Agnea! I slipped and twisted my ankle. You're there, it'll be alright. I'll have you patched in a jiffy. Sorry about this, Casty. Don't be. You're just trying to help everyone. I'll pass on learning to sand step, but I appreciate the effort nonetheless. <laughs> That's- Casty reminds me of, uh, oh my god, the character from- why can I not remember her name? She was like my favorite. The character from, um, the new Tales game, Tales of Arise. Um, the- 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 the, the shield mommy. Paladin mommy. That one. I love her. But I don't remember her name. Her and Doalim were my favorites, so. Casty, what happened to your arm? Some sort of black bruising on it. This isn't a bruise, but the vestiges of some sort of malignant swelling. I know that much, but I can't remember when or where I, how I got it in the first place. Do you think it's related to your memory loss? Very likely. From my examinations, the origins of this blackened scarring are abnormal. It wasn't caused by injury or illness, if I'm correct. Rather, it must have been caused by some sort of unique and potent pharmaceutical, such as poison. The rain, maybe? That's something you would have handled in your work, Casty. Upstanding apothecary is unlikely to ever use something so dangerous. You can mix poison. Worry about what I may have gotten up to in my past. You don't fret, Casty. Trust that you are and always were a good person. There we go. Talking to yourself. Finally, one with Oswald! What amnesia feels like cleaning up? We might not have seen cleaning up yet, either. Master Edmund is... talkative. Yes, you're polar opposite, Oswald. Not necessarily. I'm quite loquacious during internal debates. What do you mean? I maintain multiple mental versions of myself, each with a different perspective, and we're constantly debating. Heh, <laughs> so you talk to yourself? That's kind of funny in an odd way. I thought you were a kindred soul, Casty. Someone told me that they overheard you talking to yourself. They said it was like you were conversing with someone who wasn't there. Really? I don't remember ever doing something like that. I think Timonos is more your kindred soul. Kindred- uh, he talks to himself. Cleaning up? This hospital's quite the mess. Oh, wait, yeah, we've- we've seen this one. I need to clean it up. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we've seen that one, we've seen that one. Alright, cool. Well, there we go. So. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Octopath Traveler 2, and I'll see you next time for some more.